today I'm going to share about my NCLEX journey, the resources that I used, and some tips for the exam. I mustered a lot of courage to talk in front of a camera right now. I know I maybe for you I look weird or crazy or this is not a great idea at all, but I would still do this anyway. I'm going to talk about my NCLEX journey, some tips, and the resources that I use. I know this is no longer the NCLEX season, um, but let me just share to you because if you are a stay-at-home mom and you're struggling whether to continue or pursue your nursing career or you are preparing this time for the NCLEX exam or maybe next year so I hope my story will be an inspiration to you guys so if you're curious and if you want to know more about my story please continue watching this video at this point let me just thank all the people who supported me and prayed for me. Um, my family my husband um, my family in Leyte and in Cebu and also some friends here in the US thank you so much for encouraging me for supporting me and praying for me and a special thank you from the bottom of my heart to a generous couple from New York who are also nurses who who shared some resources to me and some tips for the NCLEX exam so thank you so much and to all the people who um, left their comments on our YouTube page Thank you so much to Jay, to Macy, and to June Filipino. Thank you so much for your comments. Yay, so I passed the NCLEX in just 60 questions. I know, I'm so surprised. So, uh, I know, I know, I'm just full of gratitude. I'm so excited for the future. I'm grateful because amidst the pandemic, I achieved something great this year so I praying for your success also for this year or if you are going to take the NCLEX exam too so um, yes and I would love to hear your stories also leave your comments down below if you want to share about your journey and also some tips so I'd love to hear from you um, from you guys I come from the Philippines and I practiced the profession for almost six years. Then I stopped. I'm raising my kids. They are ages eight, six, and four years old. I know they are already growing and yes, I have three kids already. In a span of four years, I have three kids. So I was really busy taking care of them and then my career has taken a back seat because of course they're my priority and I, I thank the Lord for giving me the strength, the patience every day you know because I studied for six months in order to be prepared for the test took the NCLEX for the first time unfortunately I failed because that time I only prepared for two months. Then I was rushing to take the NCLEX because we were about to come here to follow my husband here in the US. So that was a mistake. So I learned from that. So this time I was already very serious. I managed my time to you know to take care of the kids then study for the NCLEX I prepared for six months then it's a lot of hard work patience and perseverance because it's not easy it's, this is a major exam and because I was excited after I took the test I did the Pearson view trick so leave your comments down below if you want me to share to you the steps on how to do the trick. So, um, because this will take a longer time for me to share the Pearson view trick. 
and it worked for me. I, I did it. I had a good pop up. I am blessed to be given the resources that I needed for the test through a friend of mine. I know it's too much, but he was just very generous to share his resources and some tips for the NCLEX. So I'm very thankful if you're watching right now, you know, and you know that. Um, he, he shared a lot of resources. That's why I am sharing these things with you guys. I'm more than willing to share everything that I know about the NCLEX. So here are the review resources that I used. Number one, Mark Klimek's review. This has been circulating online and if you ask any fresh graduate, they know Mark Klimek. And please do not miss his lectures. Um, these are audio lectures and it's just 100% great. Like, I would rate this as a 10 out of 10 because this has helped me to be confident and there are a lot of test taking strategies, some principles, um, basic concepts that you can apply while you are taking the test or while you are studying. So please do not miss Mark Klimek's review. Number two is the NCLEX RN Mastery, or you can use UWorld or any online review course. Um, they're just similar. I used the UWorld in 2019, and it's just similar to the NCLEX RN Mastery. So please um, practice every day, like answer 60 to 100 questions every day so that you will be prepared for your test your critical thinking skills and some test taking strategies will be improved because the more you will practice the higher the chances that you can pass the test so i highly recommend these online review courses number three which i also recommend is linda lecharity's review these are prioritization and delegation questions. Practice these types of questions because the bulk of the tests are yeah, similar to these questions because you'll be given situations or scenarios and you need to decide who are you going to prioritize or who are you going to see first or what are your initial actions. So, Please don't miss Linda LeCharity's review. My other references are Saunders Review Book and Nurse Sarah's website or videos. Um, it's registerednursern.com. Um, yes, so, so I read the Saunders book for a month and I also watched like maybe 90% of the videos of Sarah for about a month so yeah I take note some important things so help you and guide you so that you will be fully prepared for the test share some tips so that you will also be successful on your test this is not a hundred percent guarantee that you can pass the test but at least I have shared to you some, you know, some things that I applied in real life so that, you know, I could pass the test. Number one is you need to create a checklist. All the systems or concepts, principles, some possible questions, you need to write them down on a notebook and you check them soon as you have studied that topic already. Number two, you need to stick to it. <laughs> Be sure to follow your schedule. Um, I studied like 
five times a week, then three months before the test, I studied like six to seven times a week. So I made it a daily habit to study. Then um, I recommend that you study for two hours, two to four hours every day. It depends on your situation. If you are very busy or if you have a full-time job or if you have kids in your house and make a schedule that is um, suitable for your, you know, for your lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Number three, in order for you to be effective with your studies, recommend for you to do the active recall and space repetitions. I use them. So with the active recall method, um, it's about, you know, after you have read or you have studied about a topic, then try to write down or recite or maybe teach to someone or in a group what you know about that topic. In that way, it will help you to remember the important things about that topic. So it was really effective for me. How about the spaced repetitions? Those difficult ones, or it's so hard for you to remember, like you need to space your review for shorter periods, like you need to review them within a week or after two weeks until you'll be familiar with those um, concepts. Yeah, you need to know your progress so that you will be motivated to study more or, you know, to continue. Please do not um, feel, the, do not feel depressed or don't, do not give up right away if you can see that your scores are very low or like less than 50% because most of the questions from the question bank are really difficult or like in the medium, dif medium difficult or the, at the difficult level. So I be consistent. That's what they say, consistency is the key. So you need to study every day, follow your routine, you have kids, um, small kids in your house and you are struggling how to study or how you could focus on your test so just use headphones or earplugs to lessen the noise now for the dreaded select all that apply questions I know you don't like this type of question I also hated it before but I've learned a technique from Mark Klimek that you just consider this as a true or false question. So read the options carefully and eliminate those that are uh, not, you know, not included. And if you are not sure of an item, please do not include that as your answer. So it will be easier for you to judge um, if you will just consider that as a true or false question. So how about prioritization? How are you going to prioritize patients? There are different ways in order for you to answer this type of question. Like, um, are you gonna use the ABCs or the Maslow's hierarchy of needs technique? So there are you know, different scenarios in which you're going to use those um, techniques. So also, listen to Mark Lemek's um, review about prioritization questions. SATA questions and prioritization questions belong um, to the medium difficult and difficult levels. So, ooh. if you receive those types of questions during your test, you have to be thankful because you yeah, yeah, you might be performing well for long questions or if you will be given a situation and the question has four or five sentences. So what are you going to do? Um, will not be consuming a lot of time analyzing or 
you know, trying to think what are the possible answers. So just read the question first before reading about the whole scenario. And now for your speed in answering the questions, so you need to be consistent because if you will spend too much time analyzing or reading the question, you might not finish the the test. Like you will run up run out of time. So you need to manage your time that at least you will only spend 30 seconds to a minute per question. The day before your test. Please do not study anymore. Make sure you are well rested the day before the test. Because on your test day, you will be given a lot of questions and you need to be prepared and be relaxed so that you will not, you know, you will not be anxious on the day of your test. So my last tip is just to relax during your test because um, yeah, you just have to focus on the questions given to you. Just sit com comfortably and focus on the computer and answer each question. And yeah, just pray. Do make sure you are just relaxed. So I am praying for your success. Um, they have a new announcement. Um, the NCSBN had announced this week that the amount of questions will be modified from 60, they modified it to 75 again, and then the maximum will be 145 questions. And then the time, they changed it to, to 5 hours. So hope what I've shared today has inspired you and I have helped you in one way or another or yeah I hope this will be very helpful for your test or yeah maybe this year or next year so yeah I'm, I'm praying for your success also thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video um, give it a thumbs up um, please consider also subscribing for this channel and please leave your comments down below if you'd like to share your um, NCLEX journey or some stories about your exam so I would love to hear from you guys thank you so much bye